So our examples of theme songs. Uh, this one is Skyfall by Adele from Skyfall, which is part of the James Bond series. This is the end Hold your breath and count to ten Feel the earth move and then Hear my heart burst again For this is the end an example of non-diegetic music. The characters cannot hear the music. They're not interacting with it. This theme song is specifically written to be used in the opening credits. So James Bond, um, the film series, has totally taken advantage of the theme song um, for promoting their movies. The last 22 Bond movies have all had a theme song that was released before the movie to help promote the movie. So um, there are multiple sources on the internet that rank all of the Bond movie themes um, by best to worst. Um, different artists vie for the job of actually performing the theme song. Um, there's been theme songs performed by Madonna, uh, Paul McCartney. So the theme song has been totally 
um, capitalized on by uh, whoever created James Bond's movie series. Um, Adele herself teamed up with Paul Epworth, who co-wrote and produced her international hit Rolling in the Deep, to write this song. She said, I was a little hesitant at first to be involved with the theme song for Skyfall. There's a lot of instant spotlight and pressure when it comes to a Bond song. But she fell in love with the script, and Paul had some great ideas for the track, and in the end, it became a no-brainer. Our second example is Can't Stop the Feeling by Justin Timberlake from Trolls. Do you really think I can be happy? Of course! It's inside you! It's inside of all of us! And I don't think it. I feel it! Yeah. I got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric wavy when I turn it on. And if you want it inside your soul, just open up your heart, let music take control. I got that sunshine in my pocket, got that good soul in my feet. I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops. Ooh, I can't take my eyes off of it, moving so phenomenally. The room I like the way we rock it, so don't stop. And under the lights, when everything goes, nowhere to hide when I'm getting you close. So um, this is an example of diegetic music. The characters are creating the music. They're interacting with the music. It's in their universe, so it's diegetic. Justin Timberlake told People Magazine he would never have written the song if it wasn't for Trolls the Movie. Listening to producers Gina Shea and director Mike Mitchell and Walt Dorn talk about the movie and how it was really inspired by the 70s, I started bringing up the soundtrack from Saturday Night Fever. So we just talked about how Saturday Night Fever was like number one for 24 weeks, and um, it inspired Justin Timberlake when he was writing this music for this movie. Um, so continuing with his quote, he talks about movies where the soundtrack was released before the movie and got people equally excited. Um, so he says the movie seems like an unabashed pop song to him. So um, he was just like, let's write an unabashed pop song. And that's what he did. And people loved it. And that's it for me today. So um, I hope you enjoyed learning about theme songs. Um, you have a discussion today about is music diegetic or non-diegetic. So make sure you do that before you uh, quit Schoology. Have a great day.